Big battle off of turn four here. The oh, and into the, the wall, wall goes Bubba Wallace. Oh. And he comes back across the track, tags the five. They're both in the wall, and the caution comes out. Except the 20 car of Christopher Bell. Christopher Bell hard into the outside wall. I don't think I have to go into detail about Bubba Wallace's controversy in NASCAR. Much like Kyle Busch, the guy is notorious for having a hot temper, being quick to crash someone out, and having a rep of being a bit of a whiner. And, well, the noose incident, which may or may not have been a pull rope for a garage door, but that's not for me to discuss here. I'm not personally a fan of Bubba, but there's a fine line between not liking a driver because of what he did, and straight up being the problem. Oh yes, NASCAR Facebook. A place where everyone gets along and all the people can take what is clearly a work of comedy. However, before he was infamous, there was, at one time, a moment where nearly all the NASCAR fan base cheered for Darrell Wallace Jr. You may not remember it. Heck, I had to dig to the back of my memory just to make this topic. But at Watkins Glen in 2019, Bubble was arguably the most popular man in the garage. Like my last video mentioned, Kyle Busch is one of the most talented drivers in NASCAR. He is literally the winningest driver of the 2010s. He's known for three things, winning, winning some more, and having a short temper. And at this time, a large portion of the NASCAR fan base are not taken too kindly to his antics. Then there's Darrell Wallace Jr., a nobody from Alabama who spent a decade calling his way through the ranks. A few years prior, he was fighting for wins at bull rings like Bowen Gray Stadium in the K&N Pro Series. In fact, in 2010, he became the youngest driver to win at Greenville Pick and Speedway. But now, he's in his junior year driving full-time for Richard Petty in the flagship 43 car in the Cup Series. And so far, it's mediocre. He's still winless, and so far this year, he's only nabbed a single top five. Heck, earlier in the race, he spun out and hit the tire barrier. Meanwhile, Kyle Busch is en route to his second championship and has already locked himself into the playoffs. Literally all he has to do is finish the next few races before the playoffs actually start. But of course, Kyle is no pushover, and neither is Bubba. Coming out of turn number 11, Kyle tails Bubba and gets him loose. Bubba then cuts down into Bush as he's trying to pass him, slamming his door. Kyle then returns the favor by pushing the 43 up the track, nearly putting Bubba into the grass. He didn't necessarily have to do this, but he's short-tempered. Unfortunately for Kyle, so was Bubba Wallace. Kyle Busch beaten and banging down the front stretch. A big shot by Kyle Busch. Bubba Wallace says, I don't care, you're done. I'm sending you into turn one and listen. And Bubba Wallace might have become a fan favorite with that move. Now, I can't speak for myself because I wasn't present, but as soon as the unproven Bubba spun Kyle Busch, the crowd erupted into roars. With the flick of a wheel, Bubba Wallace had just gained a multitude of fans who hated Bush's guts. They may not admit it four years later, but everyone was cheering as Bubba spun the winningest driver of the decade. However, Wallace would finish the day in 28th, while Bush finished 11th and ended up winning the championship at the end of the season. But, just for a moment, Bubba Wallace, the most hated driver in NASCAR, was arguably the most popular at Watkins Glen in 2019.